The Special 3, Exploring the Exceptions of English Ordinal Numbers. Hello, Language Explorers. Today we're diving into the wonderful world of ordinal numbers in English. Specifically, we'll focus on the exceptions in ordinal numbers, namely, first, second, and third. We promise, it's a lot simpler than it might seem at first. Before we dive into the exceptions, let's first understand what ordinal numbers are. Ordinal numbers are numbers that denote an item's position in a series. For example, first means the item is at the beginning or first in line, second means it's next, and so on. But as with many rules in English, there are some exceptions. And these exceptions are what we're here to learn about today. Generally, we form ordinal numbers by adding th to the end of a cardinal number. For instance, we say fourth, fourth, fifth, fifth, sixth, sixth, and so forth. However, there are three numbers that don't follow this rule. Can you guess which ones they are? That's right, they are one, two, and three. The ordinal numbers for 1, 2, and 3 are 1st, 1st, 2nd, 2nd, and 3rd, 3rd. These are the exceptions to the general rule, and they're probably the most used ordinal numbers in English. Let's have a closer look at each one. 1st, 1st. The word 1st comes from the Old English 1st, and it's related to the number 1. However, we don't say owneth, we say first. Second, second. Second is from the Old French second or second, which is actually derived from Latin. Once again, it's an exception, as we don't say twoth, but second. Third, third. Third comes from the Old English third. Thrida. We don't say threeth, but third. Now, let's try using these exceptions in sentences. 1. First, first, let's learn about ordinal numbers. 2. You're the second, second person to ask me that question today. 3. This is the third, third time I've explained this concept. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you use these ordinal numbers, the more natural they'll feel. So, there you have it, the special exceptions in the English ordinal numbers, first, second, and third. Aren't they fascinating? We hope this video has shed light on these unique forms and has made English a little less puzzling. Remember to practice, and don't hesitate to revisit this video if you need a quick refresher. Until next time, keep exploring and enjoy your language learning journey.